Okay guys, I'm filming for so many different videos today, but you probably don't know that. But in this video, I'm gonna be doing cosplay and it will also kind of be a vlog, I think, because I haven't vlogged that much of my daily life lately. So yeah, in this video, we're gonna make a whole cosplay based on this dress I made. In another video, I don't know if it will be published before or after this video, I made a necklace with self-made charms. You can also see some behind the scenes stuff in the background here. But uh, the necklace I made in a separate video, the dress I made in a separate video, and then in this video we will be making fairy wings, scrunchies maybe, and we'll also be decorating my sandals. Um, yeah, it's kind of all, all over the place. And then we'll also go to the event and then you'll see my full look. By the way, just for the event, it's like a fantasy event, I bought fake lashes and this white eyeliner pen because I want to do white freckles. I hope you'll be able to see that because I'm basically already white. Um, and I also bought a bright pink gel nail polish and I think at the end I'll show you how much everything cost, cost it to make. Uh, well, besides the dress itself, because I want to do this on a budget, because I do everything on a budget, because we don't have a lot of spare money. Um, so today my fairy wings arrived. Well, it's, it's fairy wings, but I'm gonna cut out the fabric and crochet my own fairy wings. But I needed a base and I really hope it will fit because it's, I think it's for children. So if, if it doesn't fit, I'll have to uh, adjust the, the straps. By the way, I bought this on AliExpress. Um, I decided to, to buy a lot of stuff on AliExpress just because it's the cheapest and I don't trust Timu or Shein or anything like that. I don't know if AliExpress is any better, but I don't know. It has been here for the longest, I feel like. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> what the hell is this? But I only wanted <laughs> these wings. It's a little bit floppy. Maybe it should be a bit lower. Okay, I, I think I'll have to redo the straps. But I'm gonna cut out this fabric and use the frame to crochet my own furry wings. But yeah, it looks kind of ridiculous now. <laughs> Let's continue with this vlog. Make some cute, cool accessories for the cosplay and the event. And then I'll, at the end I'll show you the event itself. I really hope you'll enjoy this vlog. Get something to eat and drink and get cozy and enjoy. Okay, I'm already back, but I forgot to mention that also my ear jewelry arrived for my elf look, my fairy look, but to be honest, I don't know how to put it on my ear. I had a very bad and exhausting weekend, you guys. First, I went to the beach with a friend. It was very hot, so extremely busy, as you can see. In the evening I went to an outside bar. Here is a top I made for a friend by the way. I also went to my internship and suffered a lot because I had to eat this cake. And then we went to more bars. So you can imagine how hard it was for me, right? <laughs> to be honest, I do have a low social battery. So I actually felt tired afterwards. I really need my daily alone time with YouTube and crochet. Okay guys, I know I look horrible, the lighting is even more horrible. Yesterday I did my first live stream on YouTube and it went very well besides a lot of technical issues with like my camera and stuff. But I drew this and I think it turned out very cute. It has been a while since I drew, so I'm happy I still have it in me. And I will be doing a lot more drawings on stream, on YouTube. And then I also started on my fairy wings. I made two of these hearts for the top of my wings and then some smaller hearts for the bottom of my wings. And I also want to make a lot of tiny hearts to go on the wings. 
Guys, I just made the necklace for my cosplay, which is at another video that's already online, dedicated to making my own charms and jewelry. But like, I think it looks so cute, but I'm also a little bit insecure at the moment about my cosplay because I'm like not sure if it's not gonna look too trashy because I have like kind of like bigger boobs and they are very obvious in the dress that I made again in a previous video that I did and then also with like the choker and then I'll make fairy wings and I don't know if it will look very like trashy or I don't know how to explain it but I guess if you're Maybe if you're a woman, you can relate to this. I'm, I don't know if I'll, I'm gonna be comfortable being out in public like that. So I'm either gonna... I'm not sure how I will solve that yet. Oh, that goes all the lettuce one. That I can even add that. Oh, is it? <laughs> is it not me? Hello, Bini. Oh! Hi guys, so I tried something out because uh, you probably saw in a previous clip if you are paying attention to this vlog, I don't know why I said it in such a weird way, that I was kind of concerned about my chest. So I tried out this little strip of crocheted fabric and at first when I saw it I thought it was maybe a little bit too busy or strange looking but I asked the opinion of Ewicht and also a friend and they both actually really liked it. And Ewicht is a very, very honest, so if he doesn't like something, he will definitely let me know. And I'm thinking, yeah, I think I will keep going with this. He actually said it kind of looks like armor, armor or something, which I think is quite cool. And I was thinking to maybe, I, I definitely will need to attach uh, the strip to the dress itself, maybe also a bit here as well, to the cups, so that it doesn't do this. Um, and I was thinking to maybe add some flowy sleeves, so to just add a lot of stitches so that it's a bit flowy, and then it will drape over my arm like this, and I think that will be super cute. I'm also wearing my necklace, by the way, but I think I'm gonna add... Um, some extra chains, some more layers to it. I'm actually very proud that I've created all of this myself. I actually ordered new sandals so that I can use my previous sandals. Well, not that wasn't the reason for me to order new shoes. My previous sandals are just kind of falling apart. So I was thinking I can just use those shoes for the cosplay, but I think it looks quite cute so far. And I think it will look even better with the flowy sleeves. But I have a lot of other things to do today. Um, I'm also going live this evening and I haven't prepared anything yet, like for the drawing. So we have a busy day ahead. <laughs> oh, by the way, I forgot to show you this, these beautiful, this beautiful set of wings that I made. I think it will look so cute all together. I'm so proud of everything I made so far. And yeah, I'll, I think I'll definitely do more like cosplay type or more fantasy or creative type of crochet outfits because I actually enjoy doing that, them a lot more. But then the problem is that I never wear them out. But now I go to a fantasy event, so it's like the only time I can actually wear this outfit. <laughs> and I think it will be so cute 
with the wings, but I can't show you now. I'll do a reveal soon of like the full outfit. I think this will be a cute ruffle sleeve. Maybe it's a bit too ruffled, but I think it will be cute on top of the dress. I have no idea, but I think I'm gonna make it a bit longer and then do the same on the other side. I've worked on this for maybe five or six hours today. And I think I'm gonna stop here because I wanna do the other sleeve tomorrow and hopefully also some scrunchies, but I'll see how much I can get done because I actually wanna get the whole cosplay finished this week and it's Friday evening now, so I have to go to bed. I'll see how much I can get done this week, but I also wanted to mention that all of this is done with scrap fabric, so... That's very nice, and I also had some yarn left from the dress that I made. Get ready with me, handmade cosplay edition. I first made my heart design dress, I crocheted it, and then I decided to go to a fantasy event, so I made some add-ons like this shrug, this necklace, a scrunchie, fairy wings, and I also pimped my shoes, and I did some makeup, and this is the final result. I hope you like it. I did my cosplay reveal shoot the next day, and I love how the pictures came out, especially Evik did such a good job. Now I had some time to practice my makeup for the actual event. Let's just hope it isn't gonna be too hot on the day I go to the event. So I actually look kind of like Spanish, which wasn't the intention at all. But I guess art is open for interpretation, so it's fine. And it's also my first cosplay and all made by me, so I'm kind of proud. I definitely think it's the arm ruffles that gives it a Spanish vibe. But if I wear the dress in the future, it will be without the shrug, probably. Fun fact, I have a Duolingo streak of more than 700 days and I'm learning Spanish. I can understand some words, but I can't say anything myself. I just wanted to talk about how much money I've spent on this cosplay since I wanted the whole team of this vlog to be kind of like doing a cosplay on a budget. So I'm gonna go through all the things that I bought for this cosplay. So first of all, the little elf ears that I bought on AliExpress, 6 euros 39. Then the fairy wings that I bought, um, without the crocheted detail of course. 4 euros 75 and then um, the makeup that I bought I bought like some white eyeliner some lashes and this pink gel uh, nail polish 11 euros 97 and then um, I'm gonna talk about the jewelry like the necklace I made um, I bought a lot of stuff for that necklace that I'm gonna keep using afterwards because this was the f one of my first necklaces I made. I have a, a separate video on making these necklaces by the way already on my YouTube channel. Um, so I bought a lot of stuff that I can still use in the upcoming months and years maybe even. So for the jewelry supplies I paid 46 euros and 45 cents including 21 euros and 54 
scents for my polymer clay but I didn't use up all my clay so I, I will still be able to use it in the future some of those colors that I bought and also yeah I bought like bake and bond which you use to glue your clay pieces together and I bought a lot of jewelry supplies that I will still be able to use afterwards and then now I'm gonna talk about the last part and probably the most the biggest part of this cosplay which is the yarn. I'm gonna talk about the yarn that I bought specifically for this whole project. I did use a lot of scrap yarn for like the the shrug that I made um, but I also bought a specific yarn for the dress and then the leftovers of that yarn I used for like the wings, my shoes, uh, the scrunchie and the, the total amount of money that I spent on the yarn that I bought specifically for this project was uh, 60 euros. That's everything <laughs> I paid. I mean, it's not super on a budget. It's still quite a lot of money, but um, I tried my best <laughs> to like pay attention to what I'm spending. And then an extra detail, I've spent about six and a half hours making the necklace and then 17 and a half hours of making all the accessories like the scrunchie, the shrug, my shoes, my fairy wings. Why does my bottle look like the old guy from Spongebob? I wanted to show you a little overview of what I take with me to work for like an 8 hour shift. So first of all, leftover pizza from yesterday because I can never eat the whole pizza. Then I have a lot of grapes. Uh, I really need to finish these quickly and then a very big carrot. Some yogurt. It's not very healthy yogurt but it's fine. And then two cookies. And then since I don't like water, you might have seen this throughout my videos, but I don't like water at all. So I just add special protein powder for water to make it into a lemonade. So it tastes a little bit different than water. And this way I drink a lot more water than what I would usually drink. So I take this with me as well. And now we're ready to go to work. So I just worked for 8 hours today and now we're gonna go to a festival but I'm wearing my top that I made and I'm, I'm also gonna put on some earrings I asked Evik to take them with him because he picked me up right after my work ended but I, I drank some coke today so I feel kind of awake um, so let's hope for the best today Hi guys, it's now Sunday and I'm gonna go to Elftopia, which is a fantasy event. And I'm gonna wear this hat because it's gonna be about 30 degrees and I can't wear my scrunchie, so I'm wearing it here. I'm super nervous because when I tried on this dress, one of the magic loops of my cup detached, so all the beginning stitches were loose, so I had to reattach them and I was so stressed. I have been stressed this whole morning because doing like cosplay stuff is very new to me. Um, but we're gonna go to the train station in about 15 minutes and then we're gonna go to the event. It's like a very long way to go there. First I have to go by train for half an hour and then take two buses and walk half an hour just because it's Sunday so the buses are very annoying on Sunday. Um, but I hope I have a lot of fun. I also did my makeup a lot more low-key than I did when I did the reveal for this video. But I think I still look kind of cute. I didn't do my lashes, for example, because I was running out of time. Um, but I think I look quite cute. And I'm so happy I was able to save that one bra cup. Because otherwise I would really have a problem because I paid for cosplay tickets. So let's go to the event now. 
I waited 15 minutes for a pizza, so I got a whole one, but the sad part was that I couldn't eat the whole pizza. <laughs> the castle was so beautiful and I saw a lot of nice stuff. This is what I bought by the way, mystery earrings and also two stickers. Yeah. I really wanted a necklace but someone got it exactly one second before me. So the artist told me she could make a second version of it and ship it to me. Hi guys, I'm now home. I just took a shower and it was so nice after being in a acrylic yarn dress in almost 30 degree weather so i feel very good now and i'm gonna end the whole video here let me know in the comments if you like the video and maybe if you have some crochet suggestions for me and i'll see you in next week's video i hope you have a good day or night bye bye